Welcome to Toronto, Canada. We are here at Collision, one of the world's biggest technology conferences, which brings more than 35,000 people from around the world together once again. I spoke to the founder and CEO of the event. It's really interesting seeing Huawei file for a patent uh, for a quantum a computer chip. Uh, I think progress in semiconductors is moving faster than anybody expected. I'm particularly interested in the progress of COMAC, uh, so that in the aerospace sector, COMAC in time will be a competitor of Boeing and Airbus, and I've no doubt they will make planes as successfully as Airbus and uh, Boeing have been making them, and they'll probably be cheaper and they'll probably be lighter. Uh, and I think that's good for the industry as a whole. That will inspire Boeing and I think Airbus to become even more innovative than they already are. I think competition is, uh, is a good thing and we're seeing the same in the car industry. It's going to be interesting for European car manufacturers. China will remain open. I think Europe will remain open to Chinese imports. And uh, yeah, I like it. Well, we're continuing to create regional events. Web Summit is our mothership in Lisbon. That's our annual global gathering. And as the years have passed, more and more people have been coming from South America, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. And we want to go to those markets to increase brand awareness of Web Summit. So in 2023, we're going to Rio. We've done a deal with the city, uh, with the government. And we're looking forward, we hope, to going to the Middle East and going to more places in Asia and to Africa in 2024, 2025. We started Rise just over five years ago. It's our sort of our baby, our little sister conference in Hong Kong. For us, it's a perfect meeting place for the East, meeting kind of the West or the rest of the world. And we've been so sad that we haven't been able to do it since 2019, but we hope in 2023 we'll be back in Hong Kong.